and natto is used in over 70 percent of the food coloring that is used worldwide hey guys well let's see here again from my island jamaica.com welcome back to my youtube channel you know there's a plant that has been creating waves in my neck of the woods because of its anti-inflammatory anti-cancer properties and especially so since the onset of the pandemic it is the anato i wanted to learn more about it and i found an expert mr Barr. i'm gonna visit him in his farm and have a talk with him to learn more about this miracle plant stay with me by the way if you've not yet subscribed to my channel i invite you to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification i do a lot of videos capturing stuff like these and I don't want you to miss any of that. So hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. That way, you'll see updated on all my latest videos. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, I'm back in Maroon Town in St. James, Jamaica, land we love. And I'm back with Mr. Barr. Remember the gentleman in the video? Link in the description below. We had a, we had a wonderful time with him in that video. And today, I am back to talk about... Actually, he's going to tell us about this amazing plant, this Anata, Mr. Barr, how you do? How you doing, sir? Good, 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 good. good. Yes, man, it's a pleasure to be back. Yes. And today, guys, I'll tell you, this, this... All right, greetings from the rooster in the background, too. Uh, this is the Anata, this is it, the Anata tree. This is it, this was it like. I'm going to show, this a whole bunch of them here. Mr. Barr has a farm of Anato. Uh, you can see them in the distant there. Anato, Anato, Anato. We're going to zero in on this particular one here. So this is a tree, which Mr. Barr is going to tell me a little about the tree. Uh, how, you know, in terms of growth, how big does it grow? What does it look like? And then we're going to talk about the actual plant, the, the actual anata. It looks, looks pretty. Does it grow bigger than this? Maybe about 20 feet, Mr. Barr? It can grow bigger than this, but what we do mm -hmm. is like, um, it's a shrub. You want, you're not able to climb it. Okay. So what you do once it's um, once it's finished bearing, once it's, it's, it's time for you to reap it, mm -hmm. you really prune it. Okay. Oh, prune it. Okay. Yeah, to, to reap it. So once you prune it, prune it and reap it, mm -hmm. come next year again, it can go right back up. Okay, good. So it's that evergreen shrub that keep growing once you prune it pro properly every year. I, um, I was amazed by what, I mean, guys, Mr. Barry sent me some information on, on Anato. I know of Anato, a little bit about Anato. I know we use it. Um, but really rare, personally very rare. I didn't know that Anata had so many potent, potent, I mean potent benefits. He sent me a video and there's a link in the description, Mr. Um, Tan, what Baritan. is it? Baritan. Mm -hmm. Dr. Baritan, PhD, is talking about Anato and the health benefits of Anato. So this is a tree, this is a tree here and this, look like, this looks like a blossom, Mr. Barr. Yeah. All right. And, and how long, how long does it take for it to turn to fruit okay it starts blossoming the late part of august mm -hmm. and by march mm -hmm. it's all ready to to reap oh so it's seasonal yeah it's a seasonal plant okay so once a year and that's yeah, it yeah, yeah once a year uh so late august to late august mm. through to march to march it starts oh. it start, it start blossoming uh -huh. in late uh, august mm -hmm. and by march most time you reap everything already okay i noticed that it has in addition to in addition to the blossom there's also fruit so it seems as if it there's some that come a little longer some earlier some some later now there are some that was not reaped this year okay 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 so um so you see they are they are not right on the inside right all right so so here 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 okay so this is all right, so we don't. I don't see a whole plant, a whole one yet. So, yeah, so, so All right, right, so we're gonna break this one, guys. Yeah, we can break it. All right, so this is the this is what it looks like when it's open. And the seeds are the seeds are on the inside. Yeah. Seeds are on the inside. It's scattered, scattered. I figure that it probably some of them will fall on the ground as well. Yeah, so this is one here, guys. Close. This is another here. Close, and it looks like um, that that one has just about four pods. Right, and then when it's ready to reap, it open on, open opens up like this. You can, you can break one, break, break, break up, one, break one, one, break one, one of them. All right, good, good. Just break it off. It won't sp it's spiky. No, man. no, no, it won't hurt. All right, let's see. Hurt. Break it off. All right. All right. So this is the whole one. This is the whole one, guys. Let me 
Let me get some focus on it here. All right. So this is the whole one. This is what it looks. This, this is what it looks like. All right. I'm gonna break it to show you what's on the inside. So we're getting some support here from Lisa. This is Lisa Barr as well, right? Yes. Lisa Barr's daughter, also a farmer, <laughs> dress dress the part. <laughs> All right, so Lisa has one of the green. the green anato in her hand. Okay. All right, so Lisa is gonna open, and that is what it that it is what it looks like. See, the Mr. Barrio telling me called what again? The lipstick plant. Lipstick plant. Why? You know, it's called lipstick plant. People use it uh, in South America to color their skin, mm. and it is also used as a um, uh, can use it as a lipstick. Oh, whoa, whoa! Look at that. Wow! It's all, um, let me show you something. Mm. Alright, so we are going to have a little demo here. Mr. Mr. Barr is going to show us why it's called a lipstick plant. <laughs> his daughter is rubbing it on, the, on his lips. Right, let's go get you know, you know, you Ah! <laughs> ah, that's funny. Alright, the lipstick plant. Alright. Did you anything like a lipstick? Yeah, man. Very, yeah? very, if, 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 very, um, very strong. Look very oh. strong to me. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> That's a lipstick plant. It's called a lipstick plant. I don't wear it though. You don't wear it? No, I eat it. Okay, alright. So we're going to talk about the eating shortly. But this is it, guys. This is it. This is it. Could you could have pulled this one again, uh, Lisa. Pull this one. Take off the whole bunch of So this is it. This is it. It grows on a shrub, Mr. Barr says. And this is what do you call it a pod? Yes, um, a, a pod. A bunch. A bunch. I'm gonna task Mr. Barno to tell me what do you know of this amazing plant? And that is um is is one of the plants, one of the the food coloring that for centuries mm -hmm. our parents and grandparents used. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when the British came to Jamaica. They found so much anato growing at a section in Jamaica that they call, that is known right now as anato bee. That's mm. really our anato bee got, got its name. Oh, that era in St. Anne? In St. Mary. In St. Mary. In St. Mary. In St. Mary. Wow, yeah. They used to uh, they used to export anato from Jamaica. But That's... with the influx of other food coloring and all of that, mm -hmm. they, they, they discontinued. Anato is used in over 70% of the food coloring that is used worldwide. 70%? 70%. It is, 70%. Wow. It is used to color cheese and margarine. A lot of, a lot of chips is also used to, to color. It colors pharmaceutical, a lot, a lot of medication that we, we medicine that we take. Mm -hmm. It is, um, and that is used in it mm -hmm. as a food coloring. Reason being, everyone is trying to use some natural form of food coloring mm -hmm. and anato is right up there on the list. It has a lot of benefits. Um, when we were growing as kids, mm -hmm. our parents never used to take things like folic acid and all of that. Mm -hmm. This anato mm -hmm. has a lot of folate in it. Folate? Yeah. Okay. So, so um, pregnant mothers, mm -hmm. excellent for that. Mm -hmm. Excellent for preg pregnant mothers. Yeah. It is used as a food coloring. Mm -hmm. In, well, as a matter of fact, that's what we use as food coloring, and most people that I am associated with yeah. use it as a food coloring. There's no need for stuff like ketchup and browning and all of them kind of food coloring that you use. Anato is if, ideal for If that. you have the anato. If you have the anato. Yeah. And I, if you don't have the anato, you can get the anato. <laughs> it is available from Bar Spice. Yeah, I, I, I did a little bit of research myself um, before I came here on anato. And I'm telling you, man, I was odd, to be honest with you. Um, they, 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 they said that it has anti, antimicrobial properties, mm -hmm. help in digestion, mm -hmm. strengthen bones, mm -hmm. prevent birth defects, which is what you, you spoke to with the folate. Good for the eyes. Um, yes, yes, eye care. Uh, in fact, they said the, the, the cartin, what is it, cartinoid content presented in anatomy may function as, a, as antioxidant in your ocular system and possibly prevent the development of cataract mm -hmm. while also starving of macular degeneration keeping your vision strong mm -hmm. for years yes, skin care they mention as well uh the toco tri toco trainers. yes toco trainers. yeah you know them yes i can't answer that so it's for skin care heal wounds relieve stomach issues uh 
expectorant properties, diuretic properties, HEPA protective properties, treats gonorrhea, anti cancer. Uh, uh, there's a whole lot of stuff here about, I mean, I mean, and there's more. I mean, they said it's, it's a superfood, superfood, miracle food. It they, is said, a super they said help, it can help to lower blood sugar level. And traditionally, as you had mentioned, I think you mentioned some of them as well, Mr. Barr. They said that it, um, it's used in cosmetic products as beauty and skin care we spoke about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, used as an insect repellent. Mm -hmm. It used uh, as, as a mosquito and fly repellent. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Pharmaceutical, you mentioned earlier, use it to impart, to impart color mm -hmm. to capsules, vitamins and pills. Headaches, crush another leaf mixed with coconut oil and apply it to the forehead to treat headaches. I didn't know that. Uh, use as dye. You, you showed us earlier, you, you use it um, as a lipstick, which is probably more the cosmetic side, but also use as a dye um, in, in cuisines, including here in Jamaica, around the Caribbean, uh, and a Latin American import, bold flavor, color, and aroma. Man, why is Anata not use, um, well, and, and also the oil. Uh, the, the, the seeds are used to make oil, which is essential ingredient in many Asian dishes, I'm told. Marination. And not, and not a colored seasoning are used to marinate mead. But why is not anata not so popular, Mr. Bar? Why is it? I mean, it's a mirror. From what I've learned and, and, and hearing and certainly read, and above that, from Mr. Barry Tan, that video, again, guys, in the description below, a doctor who studied this and is one of the biggest proponents of anato. I've been talking about anato and how powerful anato. Why is anato not so? Why? Is, why a lot of people still don't know yeah. about anato? Well, I I think um, it is not as popular mm. in the Caribbean mm. as um, as we would like it to be. Mm. It's a convenience. Mm. Most people um, oh oh we know anato. Mm -hmm. Our parents and our grandparents used to use it like this. They used to take the seed from this, mm -hmm. like this, and use it. Mm -hmm. But um, so it, it's not that convenient. Mm -hmm. But what we do, we dry the seeds mm -hmm. and powder the seed. Mm -hmm. So it's more convenient, and mm -hmm. more people are catching on to it right now. Because what they do, instead of instead of using the seed like this, mm -hmm. they can just sprinkle a little powder, mm -hmm. a little crushed anato seed, mm -hmm. and they're good to go. I have a couple of questions for you, Mr. Barr. Uh, a couple of questions that I, I know some of my online people are interested, wanted to know about is Does a nut of seeds expire from your experience? No, if you take like up to, up to, up to five years Five years? So it, up to five years Okay, so it's an extremely long shelf life A very long shelf life Another, another question was, is a nut of seed safe to eat? Yes it is Okay, <laughs> all right. Definitely. It's, it's, it's. Okay, because but what happens is that if you're suff if you're struggling with like say things like acid reflux, mm -hmm. a little of anato powder, mm -hmm. you can just put it in your mouth. You can just eat it, mm -hmm. and before you know it, that stomach that's gone. issue will take its time and disappear. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, what? Oh, and the next question is, what does anato seed taste like? <laughs> it has that earthy taste. There's no um. There's no explain. It, 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 the best way to explain it is it have that earthy yeah. taste. Yeah. It doesn't leave an aftertaste in your mouth. Okay. You know? Yes, yes. Okay. Is anato spicy? Spicy meaning peppery no. Yes. Okay. It's not peppery. Okay, okay, okay. And what spice is anato similar to? What spice? For those who don't know anato, I guess those, that, 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 those are the persons who are asking. Anato is the closest thing that you can come to saffron. Saffron? I don't know saffron. You don't know saffron. Uh, saffron is a, is, is, a, is a spice that is grown in, the, um, in like places like Iraq and Iran. Okay. It's one of the most expensive spices that you can think about. It's a food coloring with a lot of benefit. Okay. And as a matter of fact, anato is called poor man saffron. Oh, there's another question. I think I know the answer, but I'll still put it out to you. It says, is anata and tumor the same? No. The answer is obviously no. No, no. But, but as somebody who innocently asks, yeah. obviously didn't know. Yeah. Uh, and the next question, how do you cook with anata? I think you like this one. <laughs> how do you cook with anata? Yes. The same way you'd use um, turmeric. Yes. The same way you'd use like um, curry. Uh -huh. 
the only thing there's no need for burning. Once you marinate whatever you're doing, yeah. once you uh, the heat activate the color, that's for that, that's for it for, for sure. Okay. So whatever you season it, once you season the base stuff, mm -hmm. if you add it to it, it won't show like that mm -hmm. until the heat until it goes on, to, on the stove top. So what I suggest you do, once you're doing your once you're sauteing whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. you add a little anato to it mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go. I say you're doing some um, well, people do brown stew chicken. We don't know brown stew chicken. We do natta stew chicken. Not as your chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so, so once you see the chicken and you have it inside of your, uh, your saucepan, yeah. you add a little nut to it, yeah. and there you go. Okay. In terms of the amount, uh, this is my question now, in terms of the amount that you would use, again, similar to Korean and the others. Uh, it's, it, it's a whole lot stronger than each one of any one of them you think. Oh, so you use a little less? Yeah. Because when our parents used to, um, used to use anato, they used like probably about four or five seed oh. of the anato. It really? is that potent. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It is that potent. They use like about four or five seeds. Yeah. And what we do, we crush the seeds. Yeah. So it's a whole lot more potent. So less like, like, like a teaspoon. Okay, okay. Would be good for like a two pound chicken yeah. or whatever you're doing. You can, oh. you can cook your rice with it also. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're looking about, mm -hmm. we make tea with it also. Yes. yes. So guys, I mentioned that Mr. Barr actually has a production facility for another. He does a lot of spice here in the country parts and this is authentic jamaican stuff in the maroon town the, the cockpit country area and another happens to be one of them uh, if persons mr Barr, persons who are interested in learning more about another or certainly wanting to get it another uh, from you whether it's in the whole form or powdered form how can they reach you i can be reached via whatsapp mm. At 540-2871-350-9554-573-1728 and you know it's an 876 area code mm -hmm. or you can find us through barspice at gmail.com barspice at gmail.com I'm also in the Montego Bay market area every Thursday and Friday every Thursday Friday every Thursday and Friday okay all right and all we ship island wide island wide and overseas um, and we have Where, wherever it is we ship it we ship it yeah. okay uh, question, Mr. Barr, uh, you, you, I know you watch my videos, so you know again. I, I might have asked you the question because we did a part one already, uh, but I'm going to ask you again. What makes Jamaica special? Our people. <laughs> our people. Our people, our landscape, yeah. and our lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. By the way, guys, I am, I am here. I'm gonna, this, is a, this is something personal. I want to share it before, before we wrap this, 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 this interview up. I got a little bit thirsty and I asked Mr. Barr for some a bottle of water and he introduced me to spring water he actually there's a spring nearby here that he pumps water into his house from the spring and you don't want anything better than that it tastes really really refreshing i must share that with you with my viewers mr bar love it love it so anybody the, ent the, the entire community yeah the entire community of, of woodland yeah has benefit from a spring that we pump water to the entire community love it love it free love of it. course Living the life, man, and you're eating good food. We're using another. And we're, right. we're eating healthy. We're eating healthy. Yeah. All right, guys, that's Mr. Barr talking about another in the hills of Maroon Town, the cockpit area of Jamaica. Uh, if Again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to join us. Hit that subscribe button. We do a lot of videos talking about the real Jamaica, and it doesn't get more real than this. So hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. And I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment now to you. What question do you have about Anata? I mean, did you hear about it? Uh, did you know about it? Uh, any question you have for us, drop it in the comments below. And if you want to just, you know, give Mr. Barr a shout out, we welcome that as well. We look forward to your comments. This is indeed Real Jamaica.